Now it's time to move to the second block of this uh, block, and it's going to be a chapter highlight. And the chapter highlight is going to be from Turkey. And it's going to be presented by Sonne and Benji, who are um, the board members of SDN Turkey. And they are going to talk about how we can connect the dots between Asia and Europe, Leonardo da Vinci, and all wrestling in cats to Santa Claus. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. Take it away. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Mark. Uh, it's a um, pr uh, pride for me. I'm proud to be here uh, presenting Turkey uh, today. Uh, I'm actually originally from Iran, so uh, Turkey is uh, my second homeland here. Uh, I was experienced uh, forming uh, service design community in Iran also, so I uh, send my loves to my champions there also. Uh, today is not that much sunny day here, but I uh, chose this uh, shiny uh, picture of Istanbul uh, for you. I'm uh, here to uh, show a, a number of, uh, for me, a weird uh, cultural uh, facts about Turkey. Uh, for me as a newcomer to Turkey, uh, it was uh, weird but also nice. So we picked a number of uh, these uh, facts with my uh, uh, friend Bengi uh, to show you today. We have a, a short quiz for you here. Uh, and uh, coming to Bengi, Bengi is one of my uh, first uh, mm -hmm. friends in Turkey. Uh, just uh, before coming to Turkey, she was actually the first one that I met uh, in service design community in Turkey uh, when she was a student in uh, for his uh, PhD uh, program for her. Sorry. Uh, so uh, now we have a quiz for you. Let let us to show the screen and start to uh, see uh, the weird facts about Turkey. Well, within this 10 minutes, uh, we will walk you through some questions and weird facts about our country. And we will make use of a tool called Mentimeter. So if you can, please go to menti.com uh, with your mobile phones. It works best with the mobile phones and use that code 51014222, which is on top of the screen. Then we will ask you some questions and try to receive your answers. So when you arrive, if you can please um use those icons for example a heart if you want to visit turkey once discovered 19 is over of course a thumbs up if you have ever been to turkey and a cat if you're curious and don't know much about turkey so that we can see who arrived yeah, 10 cats, seven people have been here and 17, 18 who want to be here. Nice. So I'm waiting a bit so that you are all arrived to mint.com. Perfect. I, I love the flow of the cats, curious cats. <laughs> So, shall we proceed? Yes, please. So, the first question comes from a delicious uh, part of uh, our country here. Yes, I'm seeing the answers. The oldest desert ingredients. Yes. It's counting. <laughs> A 
Amazing. Okay, I think that, yes, the answer is chicken. You were right. Actually, you can't talk about the desert in Turkey uh, without mentioning this um, pudding called chicken breast pudding. Uh, chicken breast pudding is one of the uh, other uh, desserts that I uh, experienced here because uh, it actually contains uh, shreds of white chicken meat, mm. but you can't never detect the flavor of chicken in, in that desert because it's normally uh, tasting like a pudding with milk, uh, sh sugar, and uh, cinnamon may maybe, but actually it contains uh, chicken in it. Uh, it is a little bit maybe uh, stiffer than a normal pudding. You can find uh, this desert in any restaurant, Turkish restaurant in uh, Turkey. So it's not for the taste, but for the texture uh, of the pudding, to be honest. So the answers are already coming before COVID-19. How did the Turkish people greet each other when they meet? And within our bubbles, we continue doing that. Yeah, two kisses and a hug is a winner right now. Three kisses is increasing. Hugs only. Da da da. <laughs> it is really tricky if you're doing international work. So, okay. So the answer is two kisses and a hug. Uh, but there's even more, which you can see from the photo. Uh, two kisses and a hug is valid for all ages and all genders. And uh, the plus sign is for the hand kissing. So if you greet an elderly or someone you highly respect or appreciate in Turkey, you hold their hand and um, with your right hand, kiss the fingers uh, like you kiss a lady, then not the ring, by the way. And then you put your hand, uh, their hand to your forehead. So it's, it basically means that I place you on top of my head. Uh, some people even before COVID preferred using their chins instead of kissing the actual, actually kissing the fingers for hygienic reasons. And for me, it was interesting because uh, the answers, among the answers, we had three kisses. In Iran, they do the uh, uh, greeting with three kisses. And also we have uh, the same uh, tradition for the elder uh, members of the family. I mean, the uh, hand kissing. <laughs> they start shaking their hands for you to kiss their hands. <laughs> and then the next question, which figure is actually born in Turkey, do you think? Yes. Oh, my lovely Agatha Christie. <laughs> she is going ahead. Then Santa Claus, Robin Hood, and Leonardo da Vinci. Santa with sunglasses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I? Maybe. For the previous ones, we had almost four 
T plus answer. So maybe we have reached to that number again. Yeah, Santa Claus. Uh, actually, Santa Claus was born in uh, uh, in a place located in northwest of Antalya. Maybe you had uh, heard about Antalya in the summer tour, uh, summer vacation tours, uh, advertising, or maybe you had uh, experienced it. Antalya, yes, it's a, a nice place. Just uh, has has a nice coast uh, with uh, Akdeniz. <laughs> And uh, Santa Claus is, has been born in, in an um, ancient and historical uh, part of this city. But uh, Agatha Christie and uh, Leonardo da Vinci uh, are not, uh, mm, uh, are not uh, uh, irrelevant for this uh, country because Agatha Christie has a book uh, in, in his, his story, she has mentioned the hotel named Pera Hotel, which is in Istanbul again. And also Da Vinci, Da Vinci has a um, design for one of the famous uh, bridges in Istanbul, uh, the Galata Bridge but it had been never uh, used here. And uh, as I read, it was uh, the second Bayezid, one of the Ottoman kings uh, that had ordered this design, but I don't know why it had never uh, used for this bridge. But we, we now, um, another design for the Galata Bridge now. So our next question for you is, what is commonly used for disinfection in Turkey? Again, before COVID, it can be soap, cologne, antiviral sprays, vinegar. Yeah, we, we have some wine production in Turkey and vinegar makes a lot of sense. an organic solution. It's more confusing with organic solution because we have at least three options here that can be organic. Yeah, vinegar is the organic solution. I guess that's why vinegar is popular <laughs> as an answer. So, yeah, vinegar is a vena here, but uh, Turkey's unique hand sanitizing method is cologne. Uh, cologne or colonia, as we call it in Turkish, has been a treasured symbol of Turkish hospitality and health since the Ottoman ages. And it's often described as Turkey's national scent. Uh, traditionally, the sweet scented aroma made with fig blossoms or jasmine, rose or citrus ingredients is sprinkled on guests' hands as they enter homes, hotels or hospitals after they're done with their meals, uh, they finish their meals or as they gather for some religious activities. But unlike other national scents, this ethanol-based uh, liquid high alcohol content can kill germs uh, with its eight more than 80% of uh, alcohol. And now it's uh, being used for coronavirus. And a funny fact, uh, John Malkovich had visited Istanbul back in March. It was the early days for the COVID lockdowns. And um, during a meeting, Malkovich was seen wearing gloves and apparently as a precaution against the virus. Despite that, a waiter served cologne to him. I'm going to step in and say that if there are more questions or uh, quizzes about Turkey, then we'll have to do them at a later moment. I don't know if you had any more slides or, or questions, or did you manage to get to the end? The, the next question is about... We'll, yeah, uh, we'll have our, to do that one in the break or uh, or in the it chat. Was, it was uh, the last, okay. This was the last one. We'll save yeah. this one because we want to respect the time of the next speakers. 
uh, learned a lot about Turkey. So I see people are answering this. I'm going to thank you, uh, Benji and Sonne. If people want to reach out and continue this, I guess they can continue on Mentimeter and they can also meet you on LinkedIn, Umbrella, and uh, all the other channels. Um, yeah. Thank you for the test. Thank Th you very thanks. Much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> bye you. Bye.